I do just want to address one thing in the, the chat because it's a good conversation. Mm, um, good. I don't think that discipline is tied to killing children. It does seem more like mental health, personally. And I don't think guns... Oh, I missed... I, cause that, but I just, I just personally feel like, you know, like my dad wasn't around as a kid, right? I didn't really have a whole lot of discipline there. I was a little shithead. I've never considered shooting children. So I'm not sure if discipline is it either. But uh, no one really knows exactly yeah. what it is. But it just seems it no would make knows. more sense for mental health. Well, it is like it that. is mental health. But I, I, yeah. I, I believe it actually comes down to community. I believe we've lost the sense of neighbor. I feel like see, and we I think don't... that will that'll counteract the mental health issues. That'll counteract right. the gun right. control. Right. Like, I feel like and so would a father in the home. And so would like there's so many things. You know what I mean? And it's just like how there's so many instances where as like a community or as a family, my son hangs out with someone or like he's 11 and a kid that you know is is a fucking pain in the ass for lack of a better word. And yeah. rather than inviting those children into our home, we resent them and we punish them through ignorance and 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 not seeing them. I I don't I can't think of a better word and and we let them fall through the cracks. 100%. And dude. 100%. And, and I think that that is why, you know, you have 11, 12, 13, 14-year-old children murdering children because there is no community they have nothing they have nowhere to go they have nobody to talk to and it's like it, we have no one else to blame but ourselves 100%. and we, and and, and we much like rather saying, point the finger at someone well, you, else and say you can't get this rid of reason you can't get rid of anything you you have to treat things you know like like most things need treatment it's mm -hmm. not necessarily just cure so. Yeah, you can't get rid of drugs. And the gun I, conversation I'm not gonna... is so stupid. Who the fuck would think that anything? It's like, again, blame a car, blame a bat, blame a fucking knife, blame any like that's just such a weak argument to blame it on that. Easy access, yeah, okay, but to blame a, a, an item that can kill a person, I will fucking start somebody with my Contigo cup if I had to. It's hard. Yeah, yeah you you would. I've seen you. You got arms. So we could steel, ban bro. these. You know, you but should it's ban just, your really arms. Is, yeah, it's a, it's a, such a weird argument, man. There's no, I, I, there's no I'm on the same page. Answer, but I'm on the same page. It's, it's a and one. I'm a, I'm a Canadian, you know what I mean? And I, I, I don't Stay have the right guy. to bear arms. I, you know, I have no right to guns. And, and the, the, the argument to me that guns are the issue doesn't... Ludicrous. It, 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 it doesn't connect. It doesn't connect to me because there's so many other things that are killing people that we don't ban or get rid of or address. It's just like, let's, let's educate and teach people to how to make the right decisions. I can't get rid of heroin. So what am I going to do? Tell my kid what I'm going to educate my child about it. You know, yeah. I, I'm, I'm worried of, about it as a human being, as a father, as a man. So what am I going to do? I'm going to, I'm going to prepare my child with as much education as possible. I'm not going to, I'm not going to gaslight it. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to try to hide it. I want him to know exactly what it is, exactly what the dangers are and what the pressure could feel like, you know, and, and well, that's, that's the same thing for guns. But see, that's the big difference. So is there's a, a heroin doesn't play double side. A gun can kill or defend. Just like a hammer can build or kill, you know what I'm saying? Like it, it sure. it's like a pencil. Weapons or tools, yep. you know what I'm saying? Yep. So it totally is depending on the user behind it, and that's just mm -hmm. where proper gun safety education, mental health evaluations, school. Not I being wouldn't the same let my shit son sixties think that might help to start. It's just a good start. We don't got to spend millions start. and millions and millions and millions of dollars. We could just do some basic shit. We don't got to have politicians wasting their time planting cussers or laughers so they can swear. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, right. And again, right. just I, yeah, just to be clear, I am a, an avid gun owner. I, I enjoy guns. And I can't, I can't tell you whether I am or not. But I'll let, I'll let it sit when in you your come, imagination. But the well, thing is, you're going to be coming to Michigan, coming to America soon. Uh, and we going yeah, shooting, I, boy. Yeah. Oh, I, I would. Uh, yeah. I, I, I love shooting. I love shooting. But yeah, uh, yeah. the, the thing is, is I, 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 I understand that people get upset, and it's, it's a very emotional topic. But I just, I, I, I don't, I, I don't see where telling people that they can't have something is the right way to go about it. No. You know? I, Stupid. It's a tough one. It's a tough one. We're humans. We should, we're curious. We should have access. You're going to have accidents always. But, yeah. you know, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's a different one. It's a different argument. And I understand it's a, it's a very political argument. It's been a very charged argument. Um, 
but uh but yeah if, no matter what we're talking about here ladies and gentlemen we appreciate that you're having the conversation with us here in the twitch chat um, if Absolutely. you're watching this on YouTube, we're live every Monday and Friday uh, during the summer, um, 9 a.m. Central, 10 Eastern, and 7 Pacific. You can come join the conversation, come help influence, see where we go and where we take it. But uh, nonetheless, we really appreciate you guys keeping it civil, having having decent conversation in the chat. Because let me tell you, you're never going to change some... I'm, I am never going to change somebody's mind through a comment section or a single video or live stream. It's just, you know, I, I'm all more open to hear what everybody else thinks so yeah. that I can, I, can, I can kind of validate or in, ev invalidate my, my, my thoughts, you know, and my, and my beliefs. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And I definitely think that we kind of have offered solutions, but there's some people like Eddie Munster who just missed my gun. And that's okay. You can be that guy because I'm kind of the same way. Don't touch my fucking gun. But I, my shit's locked up. But yeah. there ain't nobody going to tell me that I can't have a fucking gun. No one I know should. I'm fine. I'd rather fist fight you than shoot you. 100%. I would 1,000%. Anyone. I would way rather fight you than shoot you. I don't want to. You got kids. You got parents. You got somebody else that is going to impact more than you. A good karma check. Right? You know what I'm a saying? Good karma like, check. That's the thing that people got to think about with that is that gun is more permanent than a fist or then you know what i'm saying like no, that's, that's really that's what it. i think that's but, deadly force right that's but it. what could be worse alcohol and drugs 100 percent, 100 percent. it really is no it's not because, could be could be where they are worse i was gonna say because they are worse. what if you end up getting too drunk right and passing out yeah and waking up in a coffin 50 miles from where you live as a sacrifice what you know what I'm saying? Like guns do some fucked up shit, but I've never heard. <laughs> uh, I've woke up into some pretty weird, wild places, man. There's no crazier feeling than waking up somewhere. You're like, holy fuck, where am I? And then like, you got to like leave the house and like take a couple walks. Like, oh, well, I'm in this town. You yeah. know, I, I have totally experienced that. And it is, it is scary. <laughs> But like, but like, similar the, except for this deal. Like questions. they, they leave the coffin though. Now he looks pretty fucked up though. Like, is he cut and shit? Like, man wakes up. So this is the from the MSN.com has. Man wakes up in coffin after drinking binge to find he had been sacrificed, quote unquote. Uh, he looks pretty fucked up. Like his eye looks cut. He looks like he's got a cut on his cheek there. Okay, so let, I'll read on. A, a terrified festival goer says, uh, here we go. The truth is already coming out. Festival goer. So what kind of That's shit the whole story right there. Yep. A terrified festival goer <laughs> says he was uh, offered as a human sacrifice to Mother Earth after he woke up trapped in a coffin following a drinking binge. Terrified Victor Hugo v Mika Alvarez, 30, smashed out of the casket <laughs> smashed out of his mind <laughs> smashed out of the casket in wow got me on that one <laughs> Achichachi in Ach Achikachi, about 50 miles from where he passed out in the city of el alto bolivia oh, okay all right so it's not an order. okay <laughs> all right so you know those <laughs> yeah. parties they have in bolivia i ain't going <laughs> monster thank you for the gifted so yeah so uh, Wow. Did we get more right. of a story? Did you find more of a story? Mike? We got pictures. Okay. Yeah. So basically, I, I just don't even know how the fuck this could have occurred. He got beat up, Avi. I mean, what the fuck? Clearly how beat up. Like, what? Yeah, he's, yeah he's, got, he's beat up. He got fucked up. So he got Whoa. drunk as hell. Somebody beat the shit out of him. Is he treated, him. too? Like, is he cut up and treated? Like, it looks like his eyebrows got, like, st stutures on it. So I'm not really sure. To be honest with you, if this is a case of drunken uh, falling into a casketism, or yeah. or Woke this up. was some like cartel type of shit, and they yeah, like, get blown this, up. Man. This could totally be up. like a frat issue where it's like he totally went out, he got he got roofied, he got like totally. I don't know what they do in frat clubs or frat houses or whatever, but then he was like embarrassed, so he was like, uh, no. No, they didn't. What do you know? I was thrown in a coffin. Yeah. They and didn't make it to work. Sacrifice. <laughs> Duh. Duh. Uh, to Mother Earth. Like, who did it? 
A witch? Oh, uh, <laughs> wizards in Akakakachi? Come on. <laughs> like, Obviously. Come I'm on, bleeding. I'm, <laughs> I'm bleeding and there's flour on me. <laughs> Starch, bro. I can't make this up. I can't make it to work. Where's your pants? In Akitakachi, Brad. Did you not hear the whole... F Come on, I just told you. Terrified. Sacrificed by wizards. Put in a casket. <laughs> drugged. Heads would open. Oh, God. Where the fuck were you? Oh, man. I, I, I definitely could have come up with better stories than I, I... This guy topped it. I could have... I should have been coming up with better stories. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Damn, this is really I, uh this is this could have made top headlines. I think this probably could have beat out the Trump Ray Bradshaw. Yeah, the this was the number one story of the day for sure. A this story of the, the day. Top. You know, it's funny. I woke up one time and I and I fuck I, I think I told this I was covered in dicks. Fucking <laughs> dicks everywhere, man. And like it was on my face, it was like on my forehead, and I was like, oh, he was in a bro. casket. There was all these just dicks cut off. I all was over. sacrificed, bro. I'm telling you. And so, like, it took me forever to scrub uh, that fucking shit off, man. It was like a, it was like permanent marker, man. And I, I fucking scrubbed so much that I was red. Like I was almost bleeding to get this shit off. And I remember calling the host of the party, and I was like, "You wouldn't believe the shit that I had. I had dicks all over me." She was like. Wow. I was like, it took it took forever to get off. And she's like, I know. I know. I saw. I tried <laughs> to stop them. I was like, Wait, but you did it? I was like, it took me probably like 45 minutes to an hour to get that off. She's like, you got it all off? I was like, all of it. She's like, even the stuff on your back? I was like, oh, oh it's on my back. <laughs> and I fucking look in the mirror. Dicks, bro. All over my back. You guys are back. just scrubbing dicks all morning, I man. was scrubbing dicks for days, bro. Fuck. <laughs> That's oh, fucked, man. Man. That's oh, fucked. I hate that story, bro. Don't tell <sighs> anyone. Please don't tell anyone that. That's an embarrassing one. If people fucking fuck Don't let Mrs. P know about that one. Don't tell Mrs. P now. Again. That 14 years may come to an abrupt halt. Fucking scrubbing dicks. How long you been days. scrubbing dicks? Fucking four days, bro. Four days of dick scrubbing. I can't get out of here. All this black. <laughs> I, can't... I can't get it off. I can't get it off. <laughs> Just picture me in the corner. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I got to take a sip of my fucking coffee. You knew that, of course. God damn it. Oh, uh, like, my nose. I don't tell anybody. <sighs> I'll never be able to live that down. <sighs> That one doesn't leave the studio. Uh, okay. Good. Anywho, can we change the subject? <sighs> um, that one's good. 